Welcome back to Guys Play Games, and I'm playing Life is Strange. I'm live, I'm uh, continuing where I left off after going through a whole big journey with Kate here, telling me her little roofy story. Yo, let's just get into this. I'm meant to put the book in the bag, so that's what I'm about to do. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Yeah, sure, How go ahead. You, Kate, anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? For sure, go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless I'm really that. loving this game. This I game is like some really deep and stuff also right here. Wells. With you it's as like my a backup witness, check. they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful. I bet Nathan owned the cops too. That dude careful. just owned oh, everybody. What? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police Man, ain't nobody scared of Nathan. He can't, he can't threaten me all he want. I can rewind time and just get him with it. Let me see that photo right there right quick, though. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Dang, they, uh, they look like the strictest family I know. I don't want to mess with them. All right, so what else we got in this room? Tissues. I ain't trying to let me take a photo of this thing again. I think I I don't understand. Didn't I just take a photo? Bunny B Rabbit. Ooh, a letter. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Kate, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you hurt, you released your Harriet image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Dang, Auntie Marsh be like. Yo, you need, you need to chill with that, Auntie Marsh. Ah, right, let's, let's keep going. What else we got here? We got the tablet, the violin. Yeah, I checked out all them things. Alright, let's peace out. I'm trying to leave. I've been trying to leave these dormitories since I, I, I done took a shower. So... Oh, I got a message from Chloe. Max, food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. All right, okay, that was weird. Yeah, food, finally, I'm trying to get out this joint. Finally, freedom, freedom, freedom. Back on campus. There go my boy over there that spilled paint all over that chick. Oh, let me take a picture of this this, this here. Oh, man, I can't. The birds are flocking around Samuel. What's hey, good, Samuel? Samuel? You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the I animals. I feel you, I feel up. you. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? The usual. The usual. You know. Seems like you know more. The show. So, what did Snow. you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? 
another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Well, uh, Samuel, this was fun. I'm gonna see I you around, though. I don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. What are you talking about? Of course you will. Here go my boy Ball over there. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? I was gonna pretend like I didn't see that girl over there, but I, I guess I did. Who is Taylor? Taylor Swift? What's well, good? Rachel owes me money. Pay up. What? Oh, yo, that's kind of cold, man. Y'all cold, man. Why y'all always chipping on Rachel? Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk. Let's just talk. Yeah. Once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Dang, you straight cruel, Why ain't do you? you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. I can rewind that. Hey, chill, chill, chill! Ah! Really though, I, I don't went too far back. I don't even Hi, know. Taylor. If, uh, Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me, like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm. Glad we did. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, you know. And I, I know about your mom like that, but dang, I didn't mean to rewind that far backwards. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? I think I just got more threats from somebody. The private number. This is Nathan's father. I mean, let me read my norm voice. Why did I just read it like that? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Well, bring it on, Mr. Prescott. I ain't scared of you. You can bring it. Bring your lawyers. Bring your ramifications. Bring your legal stuff. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of you. You can bring it. Psh, my name Max a million. Because I make Max a million. That don't even make no sense. Trying to scare me. Max, come on over here. Oh, Warren, what's good, my boy? Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Yeah, man, that was... you, you, you came By through. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Yeah, oh, yes, what she you said. Do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? It's Chloe Price, dude. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? 
See, that that dude, that dude played too, around too much. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'm gonna be honest with Warren because I want I want Max to hook up Principal with Warren and everything. Care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape. Yeah, buddy. Let's go ape. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. I'll text you the info. Ah, peace, water, man. I appreciate it, man. You better take good care of Max, yo, because she be feeling you. I'm trying to get her hooked up. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Yeah, they know something. Them two douches over there. Like, douches unite. They, they know something. What's good, my boy? Hold up though, where is Rachel and Brad though? I'm trying to see where Rachel be at. The sky's blue, it's cloudy. Telephones are, poles are going by. Hey man, they stay with their tunes though. I ain't gonna complain. I ain't gonna complain. They go to the lighthouse in the distance. Yo, so you mean to tell me the school bus just come to pick people up, take them around wherever they wanna go? That's what's up. That's what's up. Where are we going though? Blackwell Academy Transportation. I feel like they keep throwing that lighthouse in my face like it's all about to go down at that lighthouse. Well, we, we all know it's about to go down at that lighthouse when that tornado hit. Then things like Rachel Amber, Victoria, um, uh, Nathan Prescott ain't gonna matter. Cause one big tornado gonna hit and change everything. Two Whales Diner. Oh, that's where, what's the name's mo uh, mama work? Chloe's mama. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hey, before I go in there, let me holler at my, my fisherman dude over here. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Save our bay. It's good, my boy. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. I feel you. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Nice. So you at your own boat? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Man, the Prescotts just be owning everything. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. So you know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad Wait, hold up. Ain't he the Jesse Let's Pinkman dude down, I saw in the, the, the previous the highlights of the first Raleigh episode, High. though? Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell From them. the RV? I'd love to learn more, but... 
I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Dang, Max, you too friendly talking about some happy fishing out there. Who else around here? I'm trying to talk to people. Chloe tr yep. trying to hit me up and I'm things, old guy. Glad somebody. What's good, Chloe? Running late, grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Yo, how's she gonna rush me and then and then not be showing up in time? Before I go out there, I'm gonna check out the rest of this place. What's good, man? Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> yeah. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? I my dude, but if you see her though, just tell her that Max be looking for her. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. That's what's up. The snow was was a pretty strange sight thing to see. Right, let's go in here. Yo, Rachel probably be chilling somewhere with she probably be be experiencing the same rewind power Small and stuff. Breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. So she know Basic better. She just routine. bounced. Ain't tell nobody nothing. Can I speak to any of these people? Oh yeah, let me talk to homie over here. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Haha. <laughs> Joyce rules. Joyce rules? I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Man, I gotta... Man, see that... That's... 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 That... I ain't gonna say nothing, man. He probably right. I'm probably. Oh, what's up, officer? Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. I'm just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide: Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. So you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard some of the with partner room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said that we belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... Yeah, tell me I more about David. I guess friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Because he, 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 he has a reputation. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. What about Joyce? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. 
we take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. Yeah, By the you kind of weird me out, my boy. certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. You know, it's usually the sketchy ones that, the, that be the most trustworthy ones. So, uh, yeah. I was gonna take your word on that, my boy, but... Can I take, uh, both now? There we go. Oh yeah, let me get that coffee. I'm in love with the cool. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. <laughs> nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Yo, Chloe. Yo, I saw David smack she Chloe. She busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's yeah, good you're chill here. out with that. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. I'm sorry, but I'm Wonderful glad I'm getting memories. into the story right now. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. She understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? David well, hit her. Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful. And he will be punished. But yeah, Chloe he better be punished. Because I was a key fair. witness to everything he that happened there. In a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. There's no excuse to hit her, though. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Oh yeah, let me see, let me see, let me see. Can I get that? Yeah, can I get that? Yeah, can I get that Belgian the waffle? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Thank you, Joyce. Appreciate the coffee. Where my homegirl Chloe at? One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Ah, right, can I do something else besides oh graffiti? Oh, I think I can take a picture There's of that. Graffiti. Warren must have been here. Ha, Warren, leaving us these tags and stuff. Let I me have a drink. Beer and bacon before I die. This is a diner, not a bar. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I like keep going back in time. Bacon. See, I don't want to change the, the choices I make when I talk to people because, like, 
in life when you make a decision that's just no, the decision yeah. that you make well, you can't go back on what you said before you just gotta live with it and that's what I'm trying to do with this girl she just gotta live with what she said Incoming. if things happen that's just how it's gonna happen here come my Belgian you waffle your stomach rumbling from here Max here Chloe we taking this. forever though I'm drooling like a baby still can't believe you're a woman when I look at pictures of Chloe, uh She's still a girl or what? Speak of the devil. Uh, ah, Chloe just be knowing day. everybody. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh god, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Dang. You guys that moment so when you when the mom be, reason to blow this town. be disrespecting the kid and you just gotta look in one direction. On the like you, you ain't here to convo or whatever. Now that that's out of the way. You straight Let's talk rebel. about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start it sure talking. is. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Yeah, take take out everything and then I'm gonna rewind time. Okay, I'm gonna show you that I can Impress do stuff. Me. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Yeah, show me. Then I'm gonna rewind time and tell you what's in your pockets. All right, you got some CDs, you got a teddy bear, you tale. got a coin and a I card. Really want to believe you. All right, that me a good look. What what that is? Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. See, we got the panda key, we got the sig the sigs, we got the the coins, and then we got this is a warning ticket. All right, that's the parking ticket. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh, so, oh, 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 This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Alright, you got some cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, I, I wasn't counting. I'm gonna go with six here. Six cigarettes. Absolutely. Wrong. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Oh. Jeez, I didn't know how to count all that. Ah, oh, man. Talk about memory games here. That was here. beyond right. epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Alright, let me look at it. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget... Alright, so we got... 7-6. See, I was pretty close. I should have gone for 7. Alright, that, that panda got a little hard on him. Uh, we, how many coins we got? We got six copper coins four silver ones all right uh and six plus four that is ten coins all together okay uh we got the parking ticket 9 21 13 10 34 a.m twin parks only out of parking bay okay i think i got it down do not park there and get in that area again. All right, let me rewind this again. All right, chill, chill, chill. So this is me telling you what. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. All right, you got some. You got a. Uh, you got money on you. Hmm. Some money. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Oh come on. $20,000. 
25 cents. You lose. Okay, psychic girl. Oh, crying out loud. So, this is me. Okay, ma Wow, this is actually harder than I thought. All right, six I'm cigarettes. Sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? I'll tell you how many cigarettes. You got seven, seven on you. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Yeah, you got keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's a little panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? All right. I'll tell you what else. You got a parking ticket. A parking ticket. ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10:31. Okay, 10:34. 10:34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. And then there's the money. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Well, it wasn't 25 cents last time. I'm gonna go with 82 cents. 82 cents. <laughs> I wish. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually. Alright, fine. So there's not 82. And it's gotta be 86. That That's the only other one. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm help. Dang, this has been the hardest mission ever. Alright, let's go with your the keys, keys again. Duh, wait. Boom. Panda keychain. A cute. Boom. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that iron. Ah, what else? Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know. Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Yeah, you got a parking a ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10:34. 10:34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a That's broken right. clock is right. The money. Mm -hmm. Some money. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Call me Rain Man. That's how smart I am. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Cause I'm like Professor you Xavier and stuff. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will okay. predict the future. No way. Now, Let's pay have attention a look. to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! All right, let's rewind time. I heard sirens in a fight. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. All right. Joyce drops her plate and the truckers make fun of her. So what happens next? And he eats a donut and he answers. 
and his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. Joyce doesn't care, Joyce stops them. Yeah. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. She dropped her coffee though. She didn't drop no plate. Oops. That is Did so Did you wrong. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a I think don't not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Sure the hell better than that other garbage. Alright, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop it here for now. I, I'm, I'm gonna try and do my little predictions a bit so better. It's a bit quiet for? over here now today, you know. And tell Chloe everything that just happened. And that just happened. So let's put down a pause. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys play games. Remember to like the button, uh, hit that like button, the share button, subscribe to the video if you wanna see more videos to, uh, similar to this one. Hope y'all enjoyed this game and I'm gonna come back with some more Life is Strange for the PlayStation 4. This has been the one no one trust with GPG, Mr. Guys Play Games. Check me out on other channels as well, such as Twitter and um, Vine. And yeah, this is me just saying deuces, peace, and stuff. <laughs> Bye.